Well, we'll try this again. I don't know what happened. Boy, my camera just went off. <laughs> so we'll begin at the very start. Uh, as a young, young child, or probably six, seven years old, I was with my family and we went to visit my aunt and uncle. And uh, I could only stand being in the the house with adults so long because it was a beautiful day, beautiful day. And so I decided to go play in the backyard. And uh, while I was back there, I noticed this big, beautiful apple tree just loaded with apples, green apples. And uh, uh, they were small. Uh, and I get to looking at those apples, and I, uh, the first thing you know, I grab one off, and I bit into it. It was just like a rock. I bit into it, and the juice is squirted up in me, and I go, ooh, oh, bitter, ooh, ooh. And uh, so I go on playing, and the next thing you know, I, I get to think about that apple tree, and I run back over, and I got me another apple, and bit into it and ooh, it's still bitter. Why did I do that? Yet it wasn't as bitter. And the third time I went back and I grabbed that apple and I bit into it. And yes, the juice is squirted up in my mouth and yes, it was still bitter, but there was a sweet taste to it. And the next thing you know, I had eaten a lot of apples, and yes, I ended up with a stomach ache that would go down in history for me. Oh, I was in pain, doubled up in pain. But you know, uh, that apple tree story reminds me of sin. Sin. Yep. Yeah. The forbidden fruit. The things that we're not supposed to partake of, yet we do. An example, the first drag off of a cigarette. <coughs> you went coughing and a gagging. I know I did, but I went after the second one. It was a little easier. Went after the third one, a little easier. The next thing I know, I'm hooked. I had to have my cigarettes, and I smoked for many years. Chain smoker, in fact. Sin starts out, and you're, you're, there's something about your, your spirit that tells you no, yet you want that forbidden fruit. The first sip of alcohol, oh, it burnt. It burnt. It did not taste good. Yet, I continued, and then it was smooth. You see, your body tries to tell you, your spirit tries to tell you, no, 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 no. Yet, you grab and go on. It's so easy to have the the, the chains of Satan wrapped around you so quickly from the forbidden, bittersweet taste of sin. You know, Proverbs uh, 21 verse 11 tells us, As a dog returneth to his vomit, so a fool returneth to his folly. And yes, that's exactly how we get wrapped up in sin. Addicted. Addicted. I was very fortunate. I never was tempted with drugs. But I know some of you was. And that first time, it hurt. It stung. It had to. The next time it was easier and the next time... And the next thing you know, you are addicted to them. The pills. Sin. 
once it grasps you. It won't let you go. It's only the power of God that can sh shake these things away from you. Romans 6 and 23 tells us, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. The Bible gives us a way out. It's through Jesus. Jesus is our victor. He's the one that can break those chains of sin. Those habits, he can break them. I know. I know. James 4 and 7 tells us to submit yourself before the God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Try to resist. It's amazing. He will flee. You will resist. But he'll catch you in your weakest moments. So beware. Be careful. Well, I hope this helps someone today. May God richly bless you. I love you. But Jesus loves you more because he died on the cross for you so that you wouldn't have to spend eternity in hell. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.